Hey, Tony Pan behind the handlebars with Yuppie and Abraham. Today we're going to be doing an oil change on this 2005 Road King, showing you the steps to take and it's going to be similar uh, to your bike, uh, just different, different models, but it's basically the same type of procedure. We're going to get down here and take this drain plug out, start this oil change process. I let the bike run for about six or seven minutes to warm it up nice so the oil is nice and hot. You want your motor oil warm when you're changing it so any any particles or anything like that that are suspended in the oil will come out with the warm oil. Most bikes have a magnetic oil plug oh, and you want to check for little particles of metal or any debris or gunk on this plug to see what kind of shape your oil's in and make sure you have no metal shavings on there. There's also an o-ring at the head of the nut or bolt and you want to make sure you change that, that oil o-ring oil every time you change your oil. Well all the oil is drained out of the engine here and I put the drain plug back in after replacing the o-ring making sure that your drain plug is tight. Don't forget to put your drain plug in before you put the new oil in. Now I'm going to take out the oil filter, which is always fun on Harley's because it's in a really bad position here. You can't really get them off without making a mess, but I guess that's the price you pay for riding a Harley. A lot of people like chrome filters, I like black, it's a matter of preference. Not too bad. Just catch that oil. Okay, I got that old filter off and I'm cleaning the surface here with the new filter's o-ring will make contact. That's nice and clean. Then I'm going to take a little bit of the drain oil and put a nice bead on the, the new o-ring. That's just so the o-ring doesn't catch and kink on you. This way it'll slide right around and tighten nicely. And you want to just hand tighten this filter. Some people say you should fill the filter with oil before you put it on. I say start your motorcycle and it'll fill with oil all by itself. <laughs> you don't have to goof, goof around with it. Make it nice and tight but hand tight. Don't use a wrench on this. That's all there is to it. I'm getting ready to uh, install the new oil. This particular bike will take four quarts of 20W50. Uh, but before I put the new oil in I want to check my transmission fluid level. And I'm also going to take this air cleaner cover off and check and make sure my air cleaner is clean. It doesn't need to be replaced. I use a heavy, uh, severe gear grade oil in the transmission that's recommended for this particular bike. It's a 7110 weight. Your bike has to be on the center stand or in this case on the on the lift so it's so it's leaning there so it's up in an upright position and not leaning otherwise you won't get a good accurate reading on your stick here and it's full this is the full line right here and I have full oil and it's nice and clean no foam no pink color it means no water is in there After I check the uh, air cleaner for, for cleaning this too, I normally take my spark plugs out, clean them if they need cleaning, regap them and put them back in also, or if they look like they're uh, worn pretty good, I'll replace them and put new spark plugs in at this time too. So I'm putting my oil in with a kind of a smaller funnel, but I need the clearance because I can't just pour it from the bottle into the spout because my exhaust pipe's in the way. And I don't want to get oil over everything, which I usually manage to do anyhow. Okay, I got my four quarts of oil in here. My filter's installed. My drain plug is in and tight before I put the oil in. I'm going to run the bike for a couple of minutes now, warm it up again, check for leaks, make sure the drain plug isn't leaking, and make sure that the, uh, there's no leak around the oil filter. Uh, I'll let it cool down a little bit. I'll check the oil level again. If I need to top off a little bit more, I'll add a little bit more oil. Don't forget I didn't put oil in the filter. So it's going to take a little bit of oil to fill that filter up. So I'll check my level again and give it a little bit more oil, bring it back up to the full line. 
and oil, oil change is complete. Tony Pan, Hupin Abraham behind the handlebars.